Hey guys, Young 40 Mom here. Um, wanted to do a um, whip update. And uh, it's been a while since you've seen me on camera, so I thought, eh, I'll say hi. Um, I was wanting to postpone doing any more facial shots until I got uh, a new camera. This one's pretty old, so uh, just wanted to do a quick whip update um, for February. This is March the third me doing it now but um, I've got some more stash videos that I want to do and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying those I'm um, I just thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and put those out there in case you you know you might be interested in in purchasing those uh, or if you can find them probably most of them are really old um, on um, YouTube oh, no, YouTube. See, I'm tired I gotta quit filming at night when I'm so tired. Um, on eBay. And I think some Etsy shops. Um, if anything is 20 years or more. Um, also, I think patterns, even those. There's also some cross stitch exchange groups and resale groups on Facebook that uh, I am a member of four or five of them, but I've never destashed anything. Um, I have been gifting some things to random YouTube subscribers, but other than that, um, um, I haven't really exchanged anything because I've got so much going on in my life right now. Uh, but anyway, so let's get to it. Okay, so this is what I've got in, oh, there go the glasses and everything else. Um, for as far as like a whip this was my Valentine's whip I got the cute little bead on um, on the updated version of the stitch alongs that I put out there for you to watch this is the be mine um, I am frogging was not paying attention was trying to watch TV at the same time and let me set this down so I can show you the colors this is 606 and the lighter color you can't really tell it on here is 608 and because my eyes are so messed up the 8 and the 6 looked a lot alike so I did the wrong color down here so I'm having to frog all that out I got all this done I got all the petals done <sighs> it makes you sick when you have to frog that much you know but and I was kind of nervous because this is terry cloth. I mean, picking it out is just, it, I was really nervous. So it, it's going okay. It is leaving some color behind from the thread, but I'm going to be going over that with the correct color. So I don't have a problem with, with the way the color is showing on that. But, uh, yeah, so I, I'm after I frog it, I think I'm going to just put it away for a while because I'm frustrated. But that's what it's going to look like. It's going to be so cute. Um, and the other whip update I have, get this out of the way, I am working on, excuse me, I am working on a one personal patterns, and this is the, um, there's some of these threads out of the way, this is the abstract curves, um, I thought it was abstract faces on this one, no, oh. But anyway, this is an eye, um, and then doing all the colors. I, I'm all of my sample patterns. All, I mean, all of my sample stitches on, for the patterns that I created in my Etsy shop. I'm doing them all. Um, if you had watched any of my other videos before, I'm doing them all on 14 count. It's a it's a light grayish blue, but it's more gray than blue. Um, Ada doing these as samples more than likely I'm going to end up throwing I'm going to end up doing all these as throw pillows and then as I turn them into throw pillows I'm going to um, do some finished works and then I'll do a, a finished video to show you what they're going to look like but um, more than likely I'll save them for the craft show next year um, to sell them there but anyway um, I don't grid I never have I do, however, do the 
center line portion. Um, probably will grid if I ever get into, I, I will work on 22 count, in fact that's what my sampler um, that I'm working on, or my sampler. My sampler is going to be on 22 count um, because I have a, like I told you guys, I have a bolster, I'm not kidding, a bolster of 22 count. So I want to use that up, but it's, it's, a, it's a cream and I want to say it's an Ada because it looks like an Ada. It doesn't say on the inside what it is. It just tells me it's a 22 count. Um, if not, it is an even weight, but I'm almost positive it's a it's an Ada because of the way it looks. But anyway, um, just wanted to show you those. That's that's actually it for now. Um, I do have some UFOs right now that I haven't been working on, but oh, this is uh, these are the two main projects that I switch back and forth every night and try to work a couple of little few stitches here and there every night. But this having to w rip that out is just frustrating. I, I very rarely have to rip anything out, but there you go. So that's the only two whips that I have for. March. Um, I did start my sampler, but I'm going to wait and show you that in another video. Uh, I want to get a little bit further on that, so I will probably show that towards the middle or late part of March uh, when I do that. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I decided to come into the craft room for a moment. I need to pop the lid on one of my containers. So, one of my YouTube subscribers suggested for my bakery collection um, to contact them because I had mentioned this was one I really wanted to do for my daughter's room. I just absolutely love it. Um, the key was missing. So, um, I contacted them at Vickery Stitch uh, for the Vickery collection. Um, his name is Mark Vickery, if I'm not mistaken, he contacted me immediately. I mean, within 24 hours. Awesome. He said, send me your address and I'll send you the key. And, and that was all she wrote. So, I'm pretty tickled about that. So, yeah. Um, I'm not doing a stash video on this one. I just want to do a quick update. But I told you about the bolster. And let me show you what I've got. Um, these are some of my finished products. This... I wasn't kidding, 22 count bolster. I must have, I'm going to say maybe four or five yards, but look, look how big this thing is. It is awesome. I love this. I got it, I think it was, I got it for $2, oh, it's not going to show up, $2.03 a yard. A yard. I thought about maybe dyeing it. I've been watching some YouTube videos to find out how to dye your fabric. And it would also soften it up as well once it gets wet. Because they put a lot of starch in these. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to run out of 22 count for quite some time. Um, and like I said, I'm thinking about dyeing my own. So I can change it. I also have, I said I wasn't going to do a stash video, didn't I? This is my clutter. <laughs> my plastic bags for my plarn. And, and of course you guys know that's what those uh, those uh, paper boxes are full of. Cut up pieces of plastic. But I was going to show you. Since I'm doing this I might as well. This is the bolster of the gray. The light gray that I use. Um, it's not as long. But it is a bolster. Um, I, Hobby Lobby, or, was it Hobby Lobby? I believe it was Hobby Lobby, uh, in Chattanooga. They were, they don't carry them anymore. I can't find them anymore. Um, it originally was $5.99 a yard. Um, looking on the inside. But I know that's not what I paid for it. I've got a good, oh, I want to say three or four yards on this one. Maybe more. Um, it doesn't see it doesn't it just said 599 yard it doesn't say what it is or the tags off of it I do know it's 14 count Ada but 
I'm not sure exactly what the color is. It looks like a light gray to me. Of course, now in the video, everything looks yellow because this camera is so old and the lighting's not that great. So I have that that I work with. I also have, uh, there's my, I've moved it again. I am going to work on it one day. I've moved it again. Uh, 11 count Ada. Uh, again, got a great deal. Another bolster. This one doesn't have the tube in the middle. I know I've only got maybe, maybe two yards. Two, maybe three yards of this. I'll say one, two, three, four, five. It wraps around five and a half times. So, but this is something that because the stitch is so big, eleven count, uh, perfect for throw pillows or stitching on um, to do for upholstery. Um, and let me show you. you all you gotta do is scotch guard it. I don't know if you can see this or not. This is some needlepoint that my great grandmother did. She hand did these in needlepoint. Um, and then all the whole cushion is needlepointed in green. I don't know about you. I mean, I get bored with doing one color for any length of time. Hence the reason why a lot of us go ahead and have separate patterns or we do a lot of small ones. Um, and usually have more than one project going because you get sometimes you get bored with what you're doing. And, and you want to keep that spark. So... This, I just can't even imagine doing the whole coach. Of course, there's stains. These things are really, really old. Like I said, it was my great-grandmother's set. Um, so, she's no longer with us. Of course, she'd be, oh gosh, in her hundreds. But, she did four of these. Four, people. Can you imagine? <laughs> four of that all green over and over and over again. Um, and what we call in the cross-stitch world, fractionals. Because it just goes in one direction. But, anyway... My point was, I think this would be great for something like that if you're going to do it in a cross stitch. Um, but I, again, you would scotch guard it to protect it. So yeah, for those, she did those. I hate having, I don't want to, I've got all the materials to reupholster the chairs, but I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of what she did because, I mean, that's, that's an heirloom. And I don't have many of those. That's what one of these chairs are. Um, it's an old mahogany. I think that's what my aunt said. It was mahogany. Um, I have four chairs like this. A couple of them are split. They're really old. But anyway, um, an antique table set that actually 616 people. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Excuse me. So uh, anyway, so I thought I'd take those and maybe take the four cushions take the center out because I'm not really interested in keeping all that green and have them maybe professionally cleaned um, that makes me kind of nervous so I may I may look and see what I can find out about doing it myself but taking those four and maybe throw making it into a one cushion with the four uh, I guess the roses sets of roses but anyway, so that's my thought on that. Oh, look, there's Garfield. Go figure. <laughs> Garfield's everywhere, and Dory's hanging on the wall. So that's another bolster, and I do have one more bolster of material that I don't, I have not used yet. Um, it is 11 count waist canvas that is one way gridded. Um, again, I got this on sale, and if you guys don't know, it's waist canvas. This would be more like for, I mean, you could cross stitch it, but I would think it'd be more for needle pointing. Again, it doesn't have anything, it doesn't have anything on the inside. Uh, I got a good three, four yards of this. And if you're not familiar with waist canvas, what you do is you put this on materials that you would not cross stitch on. Maybe you would embroider on, or maybe sweatshirt materials, or t-shirt materials, or pants. Um, and what you do is you tack it down with thread and you stitch your pattern on it. Um, I think this is maybe seven count. It looks really too big for 11, but I'm thinking it's seven count. I've never used it. And then what you do is once you stitch your project on your shirt, your sweatshirt, your pants, whatever you're going to stitch it on material, you wet it. And then you take a pair of tweezers 
and you cut around and you pull the threads out and then whatever your stitched work is stays on the fabric that was behind this. Um, I have so many ideas on things that I want to do. I showed you in a um, previous stash video, uh, or whether it was a haul video, I'm trying to stuff this back in my closet. Um, stash video, haul video, whatever it was, I think it was a haul video, um, where I had gotten some DMC soluble waste canvas. And on that, the canvas just disappears like it's I'm thinking it's made the way it feels it's made of a like a silicone or a gel but anyway um just wanted to show you that to make you sick oh look there's Humpty Dumpty he has no eyes we have to put eyes on Humpty because I didn't like the eyes that I made on him I do like his nose it's kind of cute believe it or not the camera's not showing it justice this is a, is a real pretty purple but anyway uh, turn around. Ooh, don't get seasick. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, bright light glare, and just a little bit of ranting. I wasn't gonna do any kind of stash showing, but um, just to give you guys an idea of what my uh, I, the bolsters that I keep talking about having um, and using up. That's what. Uh, that's what that is. So I have four of them. Um, three of them I'm using, one I've never used. I got really lucky when I found those and I'm um, taking advantage of it. Now I also have, um, which I'll show in another haul video another time, I don't want to bore you all now. Um, I have a tub and I've showed that before, pointed out the tub, but I've never actually opened the tub and showed you what's in it of uh, mugs and coasters and t-tip towels and fingertip towels and bibs and um, a stack of fabric. I was big on 14 count when I first started um, back in 1978. Um, I want to say it was 78. I was 11. So, uh, And the first thing I ever did cross stitch wise was a little cross and we put batting behind it and um, glued it down onto the top of a mason jar lid and put ribbon and lace and um, filled it up with uh, little candies and I, I was hooked ever since so that's what got me hooked on cross stitch because I just thought it was the coolest thing um, and then I started making um, stuffed pigs it has nothing to do with cross stitch it has to do with pantyhose. Um, you older people might know what I'm talking about. Uh, we made pork and beans. We made um, little piggies on a fence. And I'm, I'm thinking I might do something like that. I have never seen it on YouTube. Um, but I'm thinking I might, um, hopefully when I get my new setup done, uh, show you how to do that. that. That was a lot of fun. And being from the South, um, you get a stuffed mason jar with these little piggy butts and faces in it and it says pork and beans and there's pinto, dried pinto beans inside. It's just the cutest little gift, especially if it's labeled right. So I'm thinking, this was, we did that in like the early 80s, late 70s, so I'm thinking I might do something like that again. Um, I still have my original pattern book on how to do that, so um, I, I, my, my goal is to do one craft fair this year, my first craft fair. Um, last year I opened my Etsy shop and um, it, just as a hobby and it's been a lot of fun to do that one. Um, I try to put at least one, one to two patterns up on there a month on top of some of my crocheted items. But um, uh, I'm just in having a lot of fun creating them and doing them and working with them and, and I still I still haven't finished my third video to show you what program I use. Um, I go between um, Pattern Maker and PC Stitch um, and I am saving to get the updated professional version because I've had this one for 12 years. 
11 years, 11 years, no, no, it's been 12 years, um, that I've had this, uh, those two programs, um, and that's how I make the cross-stitch, um, patterns, uh, that I did for my, of my niece and my sister, no, I'm doing one of my niece and my sister, um, of, I did two of my niece and one of my mother, and then I did one of my grandparents who have recently passed. Um, my my mom passed away many many years ago. So, all right. So my my arm's getting shaky because I don't have this on my tripod because my legs keep breaking because the tripod is really old too. So I'm gonna leave you with that. I think this is the longest video I have made in a really long time. Um. All right. Peace out. I forgot. I am so sorry. I wanted to thank all you guys for subscribing. I am just overwhelmed. I'm excited. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all your thumbs up. I appreciate all your subscriptions. Um, everybody that watches and comments, it just, it means the world to me. I get so tickled if I get one comment. I mean, I'm just overwhelmed. Um, and I just, you guys just mean everything to me. It's like a, it's like family, like extended across the world family. I listen to all the accents and it's just a, I just I had to throw this in here so I just want to say thank you uh, for subscribing watching commenting thumbs up keeping in touch it's just uh, between that and Facebook and I finally did Instagram and I haven't got any pictures up because I've got a really old camera and I'm, I'm kind of podunk and if you don't know what that is I apologize and maybe one day I can explain it but anyway I'm not literally podunk because anyway I'm tired <laughs> so good night Peace out. I love you guys. Bye.